Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLA 7 which is all about carpentry and masonry tools. This will be the fourth quarter topic on learning competency number four. This lesson is under the matat. Carpentry tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for woodworking and construction tasks, primarily related to shaping, cutting, joining, and finishing wood materials. These tools are essentials for carpenters and woodworkers to perform various tasks accurately and efficiently. The following are the example of carpentry tools. So the first one is the claw hammer. So this tool is used to break an object, drive a nail or spike into another, or mold the desired shape of the material. The second one is the cross cut saw. So this used to cut across the grain of the wood. Another example of carpentry tools is the rip saw. So they are used to cut along the grain of the wood. And another example of carpentry tool is the circular saw. So it is a powered handheld tool that is used to cut wood. Another example of carpentry tools is the hand drill. So hand drills make holes in some wood crafts and are helpful in outdoor projects. And another example is the chisel. So it is a cutting tool with sharpened edges at the end of the metal blades or used for cutting or shaping wood. Another example of carpentry tools is the measuring tape. So measuring tape is the fundamental tool for accurately measuring various materials, primarily wood, lengths, distances, and dimensions. And another example is the square. So it is a 90 degree standard right angle tool, sometimes called a try or trying square, a meter square, a combined tri and meter square, combined square framing, or steel square. Another example of carpentry tools is the plane. So a hand plane is a tool for shaping and refining wooden surfaces. It can also be operated as the powered tool. Another example is the woodlet machine. So a woodlet is a machine used in wood working to shape wood into various cylindrical forms such as balusters. 
Masonry tools are instruments and equipment specifically designed for working with materials such as bricks, stones, concrete blocks, and mortar in construction and masonry projects. These tools are essential for cutting, shaping, laying, and finishing materials and maintaining and repair masonry structures. The following is an example of masonry tools. So the first one is the trowel. So it is a handheld tool with a flat pointed blade is used for spreading and shaping mortar and scoping and applying other masonry materials. Another one is the float. So it is a handheld tool used for smoothing and finishing freshly applied mortar or concrete. Another example of masonry tools is the hook tool. So a hook is a tool consisting of the flat squared board with a handle underneath. So it holds a small quantity or mortar or plaster while working. Another example of masonry tools is the masonry hammer. So also known as a brick hammer, has a chisel shape edges for splitting bricks and a flat face for striking or setting bricks and stone. Another example of masonry tools is the masonry saw. So it is a powerful tool equipped with a diamond tip blade for cutting bricks, blocks, or stones. Another example is the masonry drill. So a drill bit specifically designed for drilling holes in masonry materials such as bricks, blocks, or concrete. Another example of masonry tools is the brick jointer. It is a handheld tool with a pointed or rounded edge shape and smoothing mortar joints between bricks or blocks. Another example is the cold chisel. It is a sharp edge for cutting bricks and shaping stone in masonry works. For the work example, let the students reflect on what they learned about carpentry and masonry tools and encourage them to consider how understanding the differences between these tools can help them in future projects or careers related to construction.